I just put my son to sleep. He's down for a nap for now. So, um, I thought I would just uh, I would come on and show people what it is that I do to this mess. So, just in case anybody who has starter locks or short locks and they just don't know what to do with it, um, just to help give them an idea. Now, my hair is really, really dry right now. So, I'm going to spray it with some water and put some moisturizer on it and um, a little bit of this um, oil lotion. What I use varies. So, um, this is not something that I do. Um, these are not products that I use every time, but it's just whatever I feel. Um, so, of course, water. I always use water with my hair because my hair is always dry. I'm going to use this Hawaiian Silky 14 in 1 as my um, moisturizer today. And then for oil, I'm using this Mega Perfective Growth. Um, and it's called, it's just called growth like um lotion and it's anti breakage scent strengthener but it's really oily so that's why I'm using it. So you just go ahead and spray my hair with water. And I'm just gonna be really generous with the water. Okay, just making sure I really get my roots though, because that's what the breakage, you know, you don't want a whole lock breaking off. So, now, I take a lot of product. I'm very heavy handed with my product. I might even use more than this, but this is what I'm putting in right now. This might be all I put in. And I try to use very little of this because it does say it's a strengthener and my hair doesn't really um, respond, respond that well to anti breakage stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in just so my hair is moisturized. Okay, so um, now... I'm going to do I normally do. Um, well, first I'm gonna section off my hair because I always have a little bang in the front. Always, always, always. Just didn't feel like it. It only took me two seconds, but I was in it, so I didn't make it up. So I just put that into a ponytail. Now the rest. I'm going to twist the sides going back. So, I'm going to show you how I do one or two of them. So, I'm taking Talia YG Tight Hold. And I usually use this to twist my own, um, twist up my hair, but my hair won't stay with that stuff. So, I'm trying to use it because I bought it. So, I use it for this here. I'll put it on my roots just so my roots are nice and smooth. And I just twist my hair going back like this. And then I use a hairpin and I pin it. Ouch. And with these, you want to make sure that um, it still has like the, um, the little black ends on it. Um, if they start to snag or it comes off, I throw them in the trash. I don't keep them. So, I'm going to show you one more. And then, um, I'm going to do the rest off camera. So, take the Tulia YG. Or whatever. You, you can use whatever you need to. to you know, but that works for your hair. 
So, twisting it. Going back like that and take a hairpin and pin it. And I'm just going to do this side the same way and put one more right here. Um, there's going to be two over here and three over here because I always part my hair where this, there's more hair out, left out on this side because I like for um, my bang to be to that side. So there's going to be two over here and three over here. Okay, so what I did is I twisted this side and then I did two twists on this side. Um, what you will also see that I did is, um, just around the little, the, the perimeter right here around the, um, the section, I, um, just retwisted just a few on the side so when, when my hair is laying to the side, it doesn't look like, you know, really, I just want it to look a little bit more clean because with my, my roots looking the way they did, it didn't look that great. So, um. Yeah, so I just retwist it right there. You don't have to do that. If your hair's already retwisted, that's great. Um, but now, what I do is I, um, I do like a, a French roll in the back. And I just take my hair and I twist it up. So you just want to twist that up in the back like that. I don't know why I closed this because I can't do it. I just want to twist it up in the back like this and pin as you go wherever you need to pin it. And the top part here, um, I'm just turn around and show you. I just twist and tuck. I just twist and tuck it. None of this is going to be left out. So I just manipulate it until. I can get it all tucked under because I don't like um, how it looks when it's sticking out up there. So I just French roll it all into there. That's pretty much how I do it. I just tuck it until all the ends are into the roll. Because the only thing I want out is the bang. That's all the hair I want out. And usually because I do twist this side, um, I let the... Um, I let these stay in here while I do like my makeup or I walk around the house and do whatever it is that I need to do before I'm leaving the house. Like I'm getting my son ready or whatever, so I leave these in. And um, that's pretty much it. And when I'm ready to go, just take these out and that's it. So um, I hope that this video helps somebody. You know, um, I'm gonna take a picture and insert it into the video and show you what it looks like without the pins of course but um i hope that this helps somebody because you know it's not easy having like um it's not easy having star locks and stuff and you don't have any um thing to do with your hair or if you have short locks and you can't find anything to do with your hair so that's it this side but back again i know i keep turning around and the other side so that's it